Amen. God Almighty bless the living of His word in our hearts in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Our Lord is good. God bless everyone that God has shown mercy to. I've decided to make use of you in your generation. I pray your place in heaven will not be occupied by somebody else. The labor of love, your labor for God. This ministry, your family. God Almighty will reward it with the crown of glory at last in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. We saw all the names that was mentioned just now. Where are they? They are in eternity. All these people that was mentioned, they once reigned, they once lived. They once ate, they once drank, they once spoke, they once everything they are doing, they once did them. But they are no more. Years of years ago, they died. They are no more. The time is coming. I don't know when they will still call my name and call your name. This message was once preached by Apostle Manuel Osezeli. That message was, was once preached by um, Pastor Edwin. So, 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 the same thing. But the edge we have over these people is that what we know today, they, they never knew them. The redemption we are enjoying now, they never enjoyed them. Most of them live, die straight to hell. That is what the Lord saw. That made him to come and do what he came to do for me and you now. The body and the blood we are eating every now and then, they never had them. Jesus said, as often as you do it, we do show the Lord's death till he comes. So that when he comes, he will see me and you in himself and himself in you and I. That's why I always tell myself and tell whoever that cares to listen. That no one on this mountain have any right. You have no privilege to go to hell. Your place is not in hell. If anyone from this mountain goes to hell, you will not find place there. You will, you will roam about in hell forever. Why? Because your place in hell has been removed. Amen. So, that's, so therefore, nobody Amen. on this mountain will ever go to hell for any reason. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 We have come to do it again. The edge we have, we had, and we have over these people. We had edge over even Adam. Let us pray. Our precious Holy Father, we thank you. We bless you. We worship you. Father, I cannot but thank you enough. Eternity is not enough to thank you. Many once did what I am doing now, but they never had what I have now. The Holy Spirit was not given to them as it is today. Your body and your blood was not given to them. Where to run to when the sin was not there for them. Oh God. Father, no wonder when that man was told, Why did you allow your children to sin? There's nothing you could do. He said, let the word of God go as it is. And the Lord finished him and the family. And today, they are in hell fire. But today, when you tell somebody you have seen, we have a God to run to. Lord, many of us have sinned right now. Please have mercy upon for have sinned. Have mercy upon that, my brother and my sister. For we have all sinned. Forgive us, O oh God. Purify us, O oh God. So that when we eat you and drink you now, perfection will come again. And the grace of God and sin no more will be given to us all. In the name of Jesus Christ. 
Father, I am a little child. I know nothing. What do I know? But you alone. Enter me. Empty me of myself. And fill me of yourself. Speak to me. Speak to me. To the end, we all will be blessed. Reveal yourself again through your word. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Abba Father, because you have done it already. In Jesus Christ, mighty name, I pray. Amen. Brother, we have a message from the throne of God titled Reflecting Soberly on the Undeserved Gift of Redemption. Reflecting so badly on the undeserved gift of redemption. What you and I are enjoying today is undeserved gift from the Lord. So what whenever we gather like this, we come to reflect on this, on it. Reflect on what brought the gift for you and I. The reason why the gift was given to you. What is the aim of God? To have given you such a gift that they are giving to you and I. And this reflection must be done in sobriety, soberly, so that we will not do it carelessly, eat him carelessly, and end up in hell as the children, the Christians in Corinth those days. Because they eat it, they eat him and drink him unworthily. They died, most of them died and go to hell. Brethren, the Bible told me and you in the book of Psalms, chapter 107, verse 1 and 2. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercies endureth forever. To let the redeemed of the Lord say so, whom he has redeemed from the hands of the enemy. What enemy is bigger than the devil? No enemy is as big as Satan. He is the worst enemy. That's why the Bible says in that first Corinthians chapter 15, the verse 54 or 53, the last enemy that will be defeated is the devil. Brethren, God sent us redemption. Why you and I were gallivanting in the far country of sin? He showed mercy and compassion on me and sent me a redemption. Today, I cannot boldly say I am redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. The Bible told me and you in Psalms chapter 1, verse 9. Psalm 111, verse 9. Psalm 111, verse 9. He sent redemption unto his people, that is you. When you were in that office stealing, he sent redemption. When you were prostituting, he sent redemption. When you were living in that sin, the Lord sent redemption to you and I. He sent redemption unto his people. He had, com he has, he had commanded, commanded his covenant forever. Holy and reverend is his name. He has commanded that you and I be saved. Commanded his covenant. His, he covenanted with me and you. That's why today we are now the children of the Most High. The covenant of Abraham that did not stand. Why does it not stand? Because it is the covenant we have with the blood of Christ that sealed it up. Most people that had covenant with Abraham, they died and went to hell. That's why he said he came, he did away with the first covenant. That's why today, anyone that died in Israel without Christ, though they are children of Abraham, they die and go to hell. Why? Well, because that covenant was a temporary one. Covenant of the flesh. Now we have covenant with the Spirit of God through His blood. This time, whoever that is in covenant with this, you have no business with hell. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Brethren, it is unimaginable but true 
that the God we sinned against was the same God who died, saved us from the impending wrath that himself kept for us. It's unimaginable. How can I sin against somebody? And the same person I sin against is the one dying for the sin I sin against him. It's appalling, but true. He did it. We held against him. We rebelled against him. And yet he that judged us and said, you are finished, is still the one that came to die for the sin we sin against him. Can't you see such a man is worth living for? What kind of love would that ever be? What, who is that man on earth that can beat such love? It's unimaginable. But he did it for me and for you. That's why the Bible told me and you in Titus chapter number 2, 11 through 14. For the grace of God that bringeth salvation has appeared to all men. To teach all that denying ungodliness and worldly lust, we shall live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present world. 13. Looking for the blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great God and Savior, Jesus Christ. This is the same God we sin against. He is the one that also presented salvation, redemption, grace to me and you. He is the one still teaching me and you not to rebel again. He will sin against. He is the one doing everything to redeem me and you. Reflect on this. Verse 14. Who gave himself for us that he might redeem us from all iniquity and purify unto himself a peculiar people with zealous of good work. The Bible says, and God was made flesh and dwelt among men. He did it and gave himself for the sin we sinned against him. And to today, he is still teaching me and you through the help of the Holy Spirit. Who is the Holy Spirit? God. Who is Jesus? God. Who is Jehovah? God. He is all in all. He is the one that created you. He is the one you sinned against. He is the one that died for you. He is the one that redeemed you. He is the one that is still teaching you. And he is the one that will judge you on that day righteously. If you don't value what he has done for you and I right now. But I believe everyone under the sound of my voice, you value what the Lord is doing for you. And uh, by the grace of God, and by the mercy of God, on the last day, he labor, his labor for me and you. He died, he died for, died for you and I, will not be in vain in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Colossians chapter 1, 7 through 11. For it pleased the Father that in him should all fullness dwell. 20. And having made peace through the blood of his cross, by him to reconcile all things unto himself. By him I say, whether they be things in earth or things in heaven. 21. And you hmm, and I, Emmanuel, that were so as alienated, cut off from God, an alien from the commonwealth of Israel, an enemy in my mind. By wicked works that I used to do, yet now has he reconciled. And this reconciliation was not a spoken word. He performed it. He died for I and you to receive this reconciliation. We detach ourselves from him. He said for me and you, are that one that a worship. And today we are who we are in him. 22. In the body of his flesh, he was broken, he was battered, he suffered, he was naked. As my wife, my brother, always say, all the army that the army are trained. This day I heard that word, something ran around in my head. The army are trained to fight war, but they fought him. They gathered to deal with him. You know how army behave. 
Sometimes you imagine if they even have, they have removed their brain and put another brain there. They gather the bound, not two, band of armies. Imagine what they would have done to him. Play with everything playable in him. Naked him. Put a ton of a ton on, on, his, on his head. Imagine how they will press it. I wonder if they will even use leg to press the, the... Ah, God, show me mercy. In the body of his flesh, through death, to present you holy and unblameable and unreprovable in his sight. All this thing he's doing is to make sure before we come to him, everything about us will be glittering, will be holy. In his sight. Why? Because his eyes cannot behold iniquity. Everyone that ever died before he came. I wonder how they will be presented to God. Who would have presented them? Where was the redemption? Where was the blood? The blood they sacrificed during living Egypt was not the blood of redemption, no. It was the blood of freedom from Egypt to Canaan land. It had nothing to do with eternal life. That's why when he came, Say, this is my blood of the New Testament. This do ye in remembrance of me. This one take away sin. That one does not take sin away. That one only free them. It was just only one night. That one was only for one night. So that when I see that blood, I will pass over. But this one is forever. Father, may I let me pray forever. Brethren, it is appalling that the same humanity that Christ redeemed are still the one fighting him. Brethren, we are still killing ourselves today for the things that the Lord God that could not redeem me and you. The things that the, the Lord Jesus Christ came and dragged us away from. It is still the same thing we are fighting ourselves today to get, and we have forgotten who died and redeemed me and you. That's why the Bible told me and you in the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter number 6, verse 20. 1 Corinthians, 1 Peter 1, 18 to 20. 1 Peter 1, 18 to 20. For as much as she know that ye were not redeemed with corruptible things, as silver and gold from your vain conversation received by tradition from your fathers. 19. But with the precious blood of Christ as of a lamb without blemish and without spot. There's nothing found in him. No, no sin found in him. He willingly submitted himself to take away your sin. Am I saying? Gold and silver could not do it. But today, people are dying for gold and silver. People, there are people right now buying down for gold and silver. They mold it somewhere and hit it themselves on it. There are people, until they dress up and deck themselves, they will never go to church. They have made gold and silver their God. But he that went to the grave and died for you, suffered for you. For us to pray and celebrate him, clap our hands, dance for him for one hour, problem. It will help us. It will help us. 20. Who verily was for ordained before the foundation of the world, but was manifested in these last days. For who? For Emmanuel. Not for those that have, you saw how they measure people. He reigned and died. He reigned and died. He reigned and died. Where are they? They are where they are today. But glory be to God, if you when you live now and die, you have hope of eternity. And nothing will take that hope from me and you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Brethren, as I said before, no one on this mountain or out there was delivered through a spoken word. It was let there be light and there was, <laughs> that couldn't save me and you. Let there be redemption. There was no, 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 no. There was necessity. It was necessary. It was imperative that somebody must go for it. Blood must be shed. Blood for blood. We sold our blood away. 
it was blood for blood. We sought our soul away. It was necessary that it, it must be so for so. A soul of that young man of 33 years old must be given to bring back my soul that I sold away. The blood of that young man of 33 years old must be spilled for my blood to be restored. You get home, Isaiah 53, verse 1 to 12. Read that on your own. 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 20. For ye are bought with a price. What is that price? Gather all the money all over the world. Let everybody gather all. Cannot buy a, the soul of six months old child in the womb. It's not possible. Talk less of somebody like Sister uh, uh, Morten now. A full grown woman. What price will you put in this in this woman now? That Christ, Christ God will accept. He will not accept anyone. No amount of money can buy the soul of Apostle Manuel. So why are we that clean with our souls? Why are, we, why are we making the full lady of our souls? Why are we pursuing husband and clean ourselves over something? If the whole world gathered together cannot buy your soul, why will you kill yourself for just just little thing? You know why? Because we don't really value what he did for me and you. We don't know what he went through. That's why he's telling me, you know, can you soberly reflect on it now? Can you open your eyes and see him on that cross? Why? Where he where he was near there? The Bible says he spent almost six hours on that cross. And when he took your sin, my sin, darkness was everywhere. The man of light became automatically the man of darkness. Darkness covered him. The earth was against him. Heaven was against him. Everything he created was against him. Why? Because that is how. Everything is against anyone in hell. There's no love in hell. Nothing matters in hell. When you, in hell, there's not like, not like heaven, not like earth. It's hell or true. When it was on the cross, it was already in hell. What is worse than hell when God is no more with you? What is worse than hell when everything is against you? Imagine. You a pastor now. You just enter church one day. All your members are against you. Can you get it? Just members. Even your wife will join them. Your children all will join them. All of them will be against you. Can you survive it? It's not possible. And these are people you never created though. But I'm talking about the one that created everything. Everything he created was against him. And God Almighty was against him. The Bible never said angel came to console him on the cross. No, even the angels was against him. It was when your sin was not yet on him that angels came in Gethsemane to console him. But when he not carried my sin, even the angel ran from that daylight. Because if any of your sin have been dropped upon the angel, it's always finished. They all ran away from our sins. But only he stood and carried it. Have you ever pondered? Why will God himself say, why have I forsaken me? Can, can I ever ponder about it? In all his lifetime, the only place said, why? Why, miss, I never, God, you mean even you forsook me? You mean this was also in the contract? Father, Father, why have thou forsaken me? And he said, you know, my son, <laughs> my eyes cannot behold iniquity. You have carried the sin of that young man. For now, I have no business with you until I visit you again where you are going to. That's why he said in First Corinthians chapter, no, Romans chapter 11, verse 8 or there about, in the spirit that raised from the dead dwell in you. That same spirit will quicken your mortal body. This word. That same spirit will quicken your mortal body. 
and Ephesians chapter 1, verse 4 to 7. According as he had chosen us in his in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love. Five. Having predestinated us unto the adoption of children by Jesus Christ Himself, to Himself, according to the good pleasure of His will. Six. To the praise of God, to the praise of the glory of His grace. Wherein he had made us accepted in the beloved. Why this acceptance? Seven. In whom we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins, according to the riches of his grace. Who is that? Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Even though we are foreordained to become children of God, if the blood were not shed, I tell you the truth, nothing would have happened. Though we were predestinated to become children of God, if the blood was not shed, I tell you the truth, all those predestinations would have been nonsense. Nothing would have yielded any fruit. But because the blood was shed, and it was a vicarious death that brought about our redemption today. May stay forever be praised in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. So what do we do? He's telling me, are you now? Isaiah 44, verse 22. I live with this. I have blotted out your transgression. I have blotted out your sin. Your iniquity. As a thick cloud. And as, and as a cloud. That sins return unto me. For I have redeemed thee. Not I will do it. I have redeemed thee. I don't know how far you are now, my sister. If you are here, you are having issues with anybody, you are far away from him. If you are here, there's a restitution you are not done. You are far away. Any sin in me and you make us far away. They say now, come. That sin has been washed away. Come. And let us raise it together. No matter what the sin is saying, I will purge you. But afterward, go and sin no more. Isaiah 1, verse 8. You know that God has done you well. God has put a price tag on you of touch not for I have redeemed this one. Go on your knee and say, Father, I thank you. Open your mouth and celebrate him for what he has done for you, for your children, even for your children yet to, yet to come. If Christ tarry, next generation, he has redeemed them already. Why? Because his blood has done it. Open your mouth and celebrate him in the name of Jesus Christ. in Jesus Christ, may we pray. Amen. We're going to pray as a father, whatever I am doing, making you to feel feel regret. Why am I passed through those pains for this comes of the sun? Lord, have mercy upon me as I eat you and drink you today. The grace for me to live the life worthy of saying, This is my beloved son, Emmanuel. My beloved son, so 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 daughter, in whom I'm well pleased. Give me the grace to go now and live such a life in the name of Jesus Christ. Open your mother, pray. Amen. 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 Amen.
In Jesus Christ, let me pray. Are you out there? You're not born again. You are the reason why the Lord did what He did. And the reason why you heard what He just did now. So please surrender your life to Him while you are still having the breath of life in you. Let it become the Lord of your life. That's all. Just confess your sin and accept Him. Then you are not His beloved. Before you did that, He loved you already. If you not do it now, he will love you more. And afterward, call on any of the men of God for baptism. And the Lord will use them to baptize you. Uh, it will all be well with you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Our precious Holy Father, we thank you. We bless you. We worship you. We thank you because you have come to refresh our memory about you again. I thank you so much for all you've done, all you are doing, and all you are yet doing. For our souls to be in a place you desire it to be in your kingdom on the last day. Father, mm. we have heard you. Have mercy upon us, O God, for mm. living against what you die for us for. Mm. Show us mercy. And henceforth, give us the grace to go and live for you. Is there mm. any way our name has been blocked out from your book of life? Forgive us, O God. And let mm. it be written again to the end that no soul on this mountain will be found in here at last. In Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So please let's sit at the table for the communion. Sit at the table and ask the Sunday that give us a song for one minute. Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Happy day. Happy day. When Jesus washed our sins away.